Okay, it's finally Sunday. <laughs> Holy shit. I went to work yesterday. Everybody thought it was Sunday. I took my garbage out yesterday. I was so convinced yesterday was Sunday. And I'm talking to my coworkers. I'm like, I don't know if my week is just all screwed up because I'm getting used to a new schedule or something. And they're all like, no, all week we have had our days messed up. So it's not just you. And I'm like, cool. Uh, literally, I this week, <laughs> this week has been so jumbled up. But here we are. It's finally Sunday, the 12th. And let me tell you, I had a blast at work yesterday. A blast. Um, we were so stupid busy. Stupid busy. And it's Scorpio season, so I've been having so much fun with these people. And I had a, a very memorable table real quick because I had to acknowledge the fact that <laughs> fucking my days up all week so I go into work getting clobbered everything's fine um this place actually had a really sweet deal for veterans yesterday and oh it does it bangs me up oh Melanta these people coming in here with their patriotic hats and shit breaks my heart breaks my heart but I get a five top and when I approached the table right it was like a, a younger 20s year old couple the daughter her boyfriend and then the dad was right across from me the mother and then a son and they're all adults they're all drinking whatever and I'm like, hey, you know, welcome, blah, blah, blah. Happy Veterans Day to those it applies to. And the dad was like, yes, my son's in the military, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ooh, thank you for your service. That should be a whatevs. And then the son was like, yeah, but this is his big day. It's his birthday. And I'm like, oh, shit, Scorpio season. What it do, buddy? <clears throat> We're having a blast, like so much fun. And it's probably like 45 minutes into their uh into their stay. And we were so we were like super bullshitty. And the dad goes, Hey, my son's single, and there is something about you, like your eyes are so gorgeous, like blah 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 I think that you should like give my son your number and I was like huh, buddy I thought you were a better judge of character than that and he's like what and I'm like why would you hook your son up with a with another Scorpio don't you know better and he's like <laughs> he's like that's hilarious he's like I want you to date him more and I was like I don't think you do <laughs> I was like unless you're glutton for punishment buddy and he's like, whatever you want. And I'm like, ah, fuck. So, a little while later, dad's drinking some dirty ass martinis and stuff. And the dad goes, so for real, um, like, do you have a boyfriend? And I'm like, I'm, I'm talking to somebody, you know, I'm definitely... I'm just doing my job though you know people people have a tendency to be instantly attracted to their bartenders and servers especially at small town or small city places um because they're a bunch of angels <laughs> it's the funniest shit so he's like oh how old are you turning uh next week and I'm like I'll be 34 and the son's like I'm 33 he's like I'll be 34 in February and I was like I don't date babies 
<laughs> like literally trying to tuck and roll out of this shit so freaking hard. And um, whatever. So they go to pay the bill. And I go and I grab the check. And I always check to see if it says CID or ask for ID on the back of the card. And any servers and bartenders out there, when it asks you to check their ID, they really want you to check their ID. But I always look for that and I always look at the last name. And I don't know whose card this was, but the last name on the card was Shellhammer. <laughs> So I get back up to the table and I'm like, whose card is this? Who paid? Who paid the bill? And the kid was like, me. And I'm like, dude, your last name is Shellhammer? Maybe I do want you to be my boyfriend. Fucking hilarious. Hilarious. This dude left me a $50 bill and his number. <laughs> So that's how my not Sunday went yesterday. Yeah, screw this shit. Like spiritual content, I'm I'm good on that for a minute. Like I can't even process that shit right now. Like I'm just kind of trying to learn how to live again and like act normal in society and all this stuff and beat boots on the ground in my own way with these people because. There were a lot of people in there talking yesterday about the pictures on the walls and talking about where Christianity actually came from. These conversations are happening all over the place. I mean, people are figuring this shit out. And I'm just there shaking me some martinis going yep yeah. it does not look good had a blast with a lesbian couple yesterday I have never been hit on so much in my life by lesbians and gay guys these people are different they can see the good soul in people and they can see more than they realize because even yesterday I had another, I guess they call themselves gold star gays or something like that when they have never been with a woman in their life, hitting on me, going, there's something about you, and if we were into chicks, we'd be into you, and I'm like, yeah, there's definitely something a little different about me, but I, and I appreciate that. Oh, fucking hilarious. Huh? What have... Gotta go. <laughs> Bye.